Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live and slowly but surely getting voice back. A little short of breath, but getting the voice back. Anyway, uh, the image you're seeing here on Twitter right now is that of a shooting by IDF soldiers of a Palestinian policeman. Uh, still, the, it's under investigation. Uh, it's a one-sided investigation, so not much could be said there, right? But at any rate, there the um, uh, military police are investigating an incident in which a Palestinian security force was shot and killed by the Israeli military. Actually, what was going on? Benny Gantz uh, the, uh, was meeting with the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, in a secret meeting the other night. And during that particular same time frame, this uh, 39-year-old police officer there was coming up to a checkpoint. Uh, they were, IDF was ordering him to stop, but when he didn't stop, they just shot and killed him. What a mess. What a, what a great way to start out some type of a peace meeting going on between the Palestinians and the Israelis, right? Shoot one of the Palestinian police instead. So that just creates more of a problem. And of course, I'm sure the IDF was concerned about Benny Gantz and going into Ramallah in the middle of the night. So that was the other issue. So, you know, there are two sides to this issue there. And I, I assume the Palestinian policemen thought that He's in his own territory, shouldn't have a problem, but it ends up creating a problem. And unfortunately, uh, his life was lost as a result of that. Uh, also, I uh, wanted to bring this to your attention here. A lot of flooding, uh, tornadoes, things like that going on. This up here in the northeast around New Jersey, as well as in uh, uh, New York City. And a good friend of mine had sent me quite a few videos there. Uh, showing the different flooding situation. This is in Jersey City. Uh, just record numbers of rainfall had fell there. Uh, you can't really see too good because it's kind of blurry there, but the cars there, water up to the windows. Guy's waiting waist deep in the water going up to his vehicle there. Well, that vehicle's no doubt history. Here they are inside uh, New York, in Queens, New York City there, waiting in knee deep water. Uh, I guess it depends on how tall you are. And then, of course, you got the subway. Uh, New York subway there. It, it, it almost looks like it's a fake picture, right? I mean, it's almost like hard to believe seeing how much water coming in. But it's not. It's not. It's really the subway is flooding like crazy. In fact, I uh, pulled up the article, NYC subway begins to flood. And they show photos of that. Um, September 1st, 2021, New York City subway station. And, of course, they give the video footage as well of that flooding that we saw going on over here in the uh, the video here on Twitter there. By the way, our Twitter account, Israeli News Live, has been hacked. Um, those of you, and I know there are thousands of you that follow us there, uh, we're hacked. And uh, if you can, any of you have any, anyways, I know Charles, several of you send us private messages there. Uh, I don't know if anybody's responding, and I have no idea what type of posts are being put there. Uh, we would like to try to figure out a way to get control of that again, but I just don't know how uh, because they've changed the email and everything, so I have no way to be able to access anything on there. So we're using a backup uh, channel, Israeli News Live, uh, that was done a long time ago uh, by one of the friends that, that work with us here. In fact, I didn't even do this account. I don't know. Uh, I think it's one of the brothers that worked with us one time set this up for us. So, but at any rate there, um, so like I said, we just would love to be able to get control of our account again, but we just don't know what to do to do it. And it's really sad because we have tremendous following on Israeli News Live on uh, on our Twitter account. And, uh, or if somebody can just send me a link to that, that would be great too. Maybe we can figure out how to get in uh, in a back way or something. Anyway, uh, continuing on, more flooding, as you said, saw there. And this one here, uh, what a tornado. This is in Philadelphia. Monster tornado, yeah. Look at that tornado. I have no idea how big that thing is, right? But, you know, we the, the whole point of showing you these things is we were telling you about these things that were coming. Just like in the case of Taiwan. Now it's in the news everywhere. Taiwan, if China invades, the first time half of Americans favor defending Taiwan if China invades, right? Uh, 
we're not we're not going to do, defend Taiwan. I, I hate to disappoint people, but it's just not going to happen. And you know, but these floods, things like that, we had told you guys these things were going to begin to happen, and uh, they would happen here. Uh, mostly, we were told it would begin the flooding and the storms would begin in mid September. So it's a little early. Uh, those things that are happening already, and it's just a matter of time before this softball size hail starts coming with it. Uh, and then plasma lightning is expected too by the end of the year. So I'm telling you, friends, it's getting really crazy there. And, and by the way, I was sitting there, I just opened up earthquake thing just out of curiosity to see. It looks like California's west coast is pretty quiet tonight, which was nice to see. But uh, when I first opened it, this earthquake down here in the uh, South Sandwich Islands there had just happened. And, and this was like, I don't know, well, whatever the time frame is on there. Um, but I had I had opened this up, I guess, about 45 minutes ago or something like that. And then while I'm sitting there, next thing you know, Hawaii gets a small earthquake as well uh, that happened just while I was sitting there open. It's kind of weird how that just happened. Next thing you know, they updated another earthquake. Of course, Alaska has been been beaming a bunch of little earthquakes and stuff going off up there, 4.0 and higher, things like that. So pretty, pretty busy up there around Alaska. And then I noticed two over here in Greece. You got a couple of them here going off. And uh, I think about that because I've been told Italy, Italy is one of the three major hot spots they're anticipating of a massive, massive quake. And, and, and I, the reason why I keep checking the USGS so I've been told by the end of the year, you're going to start seeing 8.0 and bigger type earthquakes. So we try to let you know in advance these things that are going to be happening uh, from intel that we're getting there. Whew, running out of breath again. So, uh, you know, but um, I just, uh, by the way, I want to thank you guys for praying for me as well. And two, I want to thank too, and, and uh, I won't say, say the brother's name publicly or anything, but uh, there was a brother that really... Uh, came to, to, to our aid when it comes to uh, the back issue that I have and getting that uh, covered for us to where uh, I can actually get this procedure done. So we've actually set the first appointments already. And uh, I just want to say, God bless you, brother, uh, for doing that. And, uh, and, and thank so many of you that were kind enough to help as well uh, in covering that cost there. And so now that can be done. So God bless you and thank you very much. And uh, thank you for those that have helped as well. I greatly appreciate it. But we have, the goal has been met now. And so I want to make sure people knew that so that, uh, you know, you're not giving to something that's, that we finally have gotten, the grace of God has gotten covered. Anyway, thank you for listening tonight. And God bless all of you for listening. And um, uh, I've got still a lot of things to do, a lot of things to say. Uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned to you, we did a video over on Patreon the other day. But we did. We did release some new information going on there and uh, and still more yet to come. So I'll be trying to share things with you, actually very serious things I want to share with you when it comes to the uh, disclosure of things, especially when we're dealing with these fallen angel entities and their plot and their purpose to take over this this planet. Uh, God bless you and have a good evening.